This is another edition of the Overtopia YouTube channel. Today we're going to focus on one of our economic standards, and we're going to focus on the economic standard that tells us that we need to be able to locate an economy on a continuum between pure market and pure command. Now if you would look on the standards that are on the wall in your teacher's classrooms, you'll see these standards written out. And I know it sounds like fancy language, but really it just means you need to know the difference between pure market and pure command, and you need to know that they're somewhere in the middle, okay? But before we go into that, before we talk about continuums, I need to let you know the difference between market and command economies. We're going to go into that right now real quick, so try to keep up. First of all, let's talk about a pure market economy. Now, the word pure, if you ever hear the word pure, ever, it usually means 100%. 100%. How many percent? Good, 100%. So a pure market economy is a type of economy where all businesses are owned by, I think I heard somebody say it, yes, by private citizens. In this type of economy, if a citizen wants to start a business, they just start it. Bottom line, they don't have to get any approval from any government. There really isn't any government. There wouldn't be any government in a 100% pure market economy because the government is the one that you have to go to when you want to start a business and turn in all the tax paperwork and all that stuff. There are none of these in existence today. On the flip side, a pure command economy. Pure, again, 100%. In a pure command economy, which is the exact opposite, what do you think a pure command economy is? If we say it's the opposite of this, I think you're trying to tell me that a pure command economy has all businesses that are what? Yes, government owned. All businesses are, gov are government owned which means basically the government owns everything. A lot of people will say that this is communism, and they would be mostly correct. However, again, we're using the word pure, pure, 100%, not a single private business in this economy. A lot of communist countries do have some private businesses which means that they're not 100% pure. They're still mostly command, but they're not 100% pure command. So now that we know what pure market is, now that we know what pure command is, let's look at a continuum. All right, this is the continuum. This is the economic continuum, okay? We've got pure command over here. If a country was pure command, then that star would represent that country. If a country was pure market, then that star would represent that country. But as we just talked about on this slide, there are no pure 100% market or pure 100% command. They just don't exist. So what you get is a lot of countries that are in the middle. Okay? And what's really cool about these stars is they can move back and forth depending on what that government decides. If there's a new government law passed that puts more control in the hands of the government, the star moves further this way. If there's a law passed that lets go of some stuff, then that would make the country move a little bit that way. Right? It's not really a specific science. Like There's not like, oh, today the star moved this much, okay? It's just you're somewhere in the middle. You're somewhere within this mixed rectangle. 
<laughs> now, this year we're going to talk about countries like Cuba and China. Their stars are over here, okay? The country of North Korea. That star is way over here, okay? Not a lot of private business going on in that country. Our country, the United States, we're over here, all right? Countries like Russia, okay? No longer the Soviet Union. You know, they've moved more to the middle. We're also going to learn about countries like Canada and Australia. They're over here. United Kingdom, Germany, they're over here also. So again, all countries in the world are going to be somewhere in the middle here. Depending on how much power that government has over the economy will determine where the star would be on the continuum. So I hope this has helped you. If it hasn't, try watching it at least one more time and maybe it will make more sense. And I promise we'll talk about it more in class. We'll pull this up and we'll move the stars. It'll be super fun. I hope you have a wonderful day.